July 18th, 19th, and 20th, that would be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, the sun is in Cancer and the moon is in Aries. It's a square, fire in water. A baby gets a stomach ache. They have that quality of being angry or feeling frustrated because they're sensitive, but they're feisty. It's such a funny comment. I have this in my chart and it made stomach problems my whole childhood because I was feeling but my moon in Aries was so independent, you couldn't tell that I was actually, I didn't understand. Somebody had to teach me, which didn't happen. Okay, so this is an announcement. The sun is opposite Pluto. So the sun is in Cancer and Pluto is in Capricorn. And it's a very tight opposition. Now, this only happens once a year. And when we are studying astrology, we would say this is a signature that's going to describe a character for their whole life. So if a baby were born with a sun opposite Pluto, the sun is our life-giving force. You all know this. You know your sun sign. And it's opposite the planet Pluto, which is the power planet. I always think of P for Pluto's power. So they are coming in with an excessive amount of power and a moon in Aries, they've got a feisty character, but they're sensitive. So what does a sensitive do? It's a funny personality trait. They have an edge and then they say, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to say that. And you have to understand that when someone has moon in Aries, raise your hand, they are impulsive. They don't always have control over their impulses. They are initiative energy. This is double cardinal energy. So you're going to feel strong energy. Mercury's in Leo on the 19th. So we've got some more fire and there's only one planet in air until August 20th except when the moon goes there. So we're really dealing with a highly charged, particularly these two days or three days, particularly these three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, you're going to wake up Monday morning feeling the energy and then feeling the desire to stay home and then feeling the energy. And so I'm going to tell you, get out, get up. The sun is opposite Pluto. There's power available to us. If a baby were born, they would not be sitting idle and neither should you. Do you want to hear the craziest thing? On the 18th, there's a holiday called World Listening Day. If everyone just stopped and listened, I always tell people the word listen and silent have the same letters. In order to listen, you have to be quiet. Well, this is a cancer dream. We could listen deeply and then the moon of Aries goes, I got it. That's the upside of this combination. A sensitive who suddenly gets the answer and takes an action compared to a sensitive who doesn't tell you what they're thinking. The moon and Aries can't help it. So if you're feeling impulsive when you wake up in the morning on Monday and Tuesday and you can feel the energy, you can blame it on the sky. And remember, the baby being born, lots of power. Happy birthday to that baby just being born. Astrology answers wanted me to tell you, if you wake up and you feel that moon and Aries and you feel edgy, don't think something's wrong. It's just an invitation to use the impulse and your sensitivity and listen. I love listening.